when you keep doing this year after year, and I think I'm in my like 13th or 14th year, it starts to become like a test score, a test score, a test score. We all say that, oh, I don't want to teach the test, I don't want to teach the test, but over the years, it just kind of starts weighing you down, weighing you down, weighing you down, and then you go to this and you hear someone who's like, forget that, like this method works and it will help with that. I'm Robin Hudson, a fifth grade teacher at Ridgeville Elementary School. We're suffering a lot in this area from the opioid crisis. It's huge in this area. It's affected a lot of kids and a lot of families. So we have kids coming into school with a little more adverse you know, childhood traumas. We have kids who will, they come here and they will try their hardest. Even if things aren't wonderful at home, they come here and they try their hardest. Whenever you try anything new, you get that nervousness. That uncomfortableness of being nervous is actually like kind of reinvigorated me again kind of brought me back up to another level like when I first came out of college and was so excited and so being able to do something new and try it and see my kids you know doing things like we're fifth graders but let's learn about demographics let's learn about Google I've had kids who went home and do, do they do research on their own now and so as a teacher it was kind of like a big switch for me instead of like I'm teaching and then you need to show me that you know what I just taught you I ended up being more of a facilitator in my classroom and I was like, all right, so here's this problem that you guys need to solve. And they're like, oh man, this is for another group of people. It's not just for my teacher. So they took more ownership of it. They knew that they were presenting to people who were not their teacher. Then all of a sudden my teaching became, I need to step back and watch what they're doing in here. And then I can assess what they're learning. It is making them a lot better problem solvers. It's helping them dig deeper into things and to look for solutions and not to just look for the first solution that comes to their mind. I was very surprised just the way it's changed the climate of my classroom. We just had conferences last night and the parents said, I love what you're doing. My kid likes coming to school this year. And I was like, oh, these are the best conferences I ever had. All my parents are like super happy with like the way things are going this year. I think having them start to care about the issues in the community will hopefully draw them back here and they won't all just want to escape when they graduate high school. Those are the people that are gonna help change the community. They keep coming back and staying here and sticking with it even when things get a little bit rough.